So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys seven common mistakes that I've noticed that people have when keeping ball pythons. So let's go check it out. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics. And if you're new to the channel, we make videos about reptiles and amphibians and how to take care of them. And we also answer any questions that you guys may have about them, just like this video here today. So if you guys are interested, consider subscribing. Since owning my ball pythons and doing my own independent research on these guys, I've noticed a lot of common mistakes that people have when keeping these creatures. But these are just gonna be my opinions and recommendations of what you should and should not do with these creatures. So for the first mistake that I've noticed with a lot of ball python keeping is some people like to use heat bulbs as the only heat source for these creatures. Using heat bulbs is not a bad idea if used in conjunction with a heating pad. But me personally, I like to use underbelly heat a lot more than using a heating mat. With ball pythons being mostly nocturnal creatures, a regular heating bulb will be kind of pointless due to the fact that they would have to cut it off at night and your animal wouldn't be able to get the heat but it would be good for simulating the sun and keeping their circadian rhythm together. Another thing is that me personally, I don't really use the red nighttime bulbs. Well, matter of fact, we'll save that for another video. So your other option would be a ceramic heat emitter, which is a special type of bulb that doesn't give off light rather than just heat, which makes this a perfect candidate for nocturnal creatures. But I would recommend using this and a heat mat with a thermostat if you're gonna be using these items. Which brings us to our next common mistake that I've noticed. A lot of people don't use thermostats with their heating pads or other heating devices. Thermostats are super easy to install and can keep your reptile from getting burnt due to overheating, which is a common issue if you actually plug your heat mats directly into the wall uh, because they're designed to only heat the area up maybe five to 10 degrees higher than what it normally is. I'll put some links to the ones that I like best down in the description alongside with some ceramic heat emitters and heating pads and different things like that. So you guys can go check that out and get you some if you like. But the key is you gotta use my link down below. Another very common issue with snakes is actually feeding these guys live prey. While naturally in the wild, these guys do eat live prey and rodents and things like that, in captivity, things can work a little bit different. As you can see here with my larger ball python here, I'll give you guys a close up in just a second. This snake was a rescue and was given to me and it shows some signs of scarring along the backside of the back of the spine, which often means that there was rodents or whatever kind of food left unattended inside the actual terrarium and they didn't actually monitor to see the snake actually eat it. With this scarring and different things like that, this can cause a lot of issues with you guys with shedding, which is a real big thing in snakes if you're just getting into the hobby. Uh, because normally you would like to see your snake shed all in one piece, but this guy is kind of hard to get that to happen even with the right humidity with all the scarring going down his back. But I've been, tr I've been working at it and trying to get them together, but he's looking a whole lot better. Having a secure enclosure is another very important thing as well. I recommend buying either a locking enclosure or if you're using a regular aquarium for your animals, then you need to buy enclosure locks like the ones right here. Using books and heavy objects to hold down your screen may work for a little while, but having one of my snakes escape before is causing to be way more cautious. So another major important thing is to know that ball pythons spend a majority of their time hiding in burrows and different things like that. So with these creatures being nocturnal, they often come out night to hunt. So whether you know it or not, having a completely open glass tank can be actually kind of stressful for them. So some simple modifications can be done to it to make sure that your snake can feel comfortable and be less stressed in the environment. Make sure to provide a lot of different various hiding places and also to use a reptile background to help block out some of the different sides of the aquarium to help them feel more enclosed and less exposed. Moving on, while some snakes can be housed together like garter snakes, most other snakes are solitary creatures and shouldn't be housed with other snakes. Uh, this can lead to stress, cannibalism, feeding issues, and many other things unless you're breeding snakes. You should pretty much keep all your snakes separate. So moving on to another very important mistake that I see a lot of people have with ball pythons is overfeeding or underfeeding. A good general rule to remember when feeding most snakes is you don't want to feed a prey item no bigger than the biggest part of the snake's body. And the size of the prey item should increase accordingly with the size of the snake. 
Another thing is, if you're feeding mice to your ball pythons, eventually I would switch them over to feeding on rats. It's definitely going to be more nutritious for them and a little bit bigger prey item instead of feeding them multiple smaller rodents. And going back to the thing of feeding live, I would definitely try to get them switched over to feeding frozen thawed. It's a whole lot safer for your snake and safer for you. So as just a reminder, all the products that we mentioned in this video is going to be linked down in the description so you guys can go check it out and buy some if you want to. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. That way you guys can go check out some of our new videos we got coming out. I'll go ahead and post some videos over here on the right side of the screen for you guys. So you can guys go see those if you want to go ahead and continue on watching today.